Shalom, sister, shalom. Kohaloye, how about Shem, Hamashiach, Bamalaki, how shy? All praises to the Most High. Um, I just wanted to do a quick little video about something that was weighing heavy on my spirit. And it's just about hiding your sins. Hiding your sins. If you if you hiding your sins in the street, you're not going to prosper. You're not going to prosper. You got to let people know what's going on with you. You're going to fall out the truth. You don't want to be rejected by your how about Shimmy how shy. You don't want to be rejected by the Lord because you wanted to keep things to yourself because you didn't want to come off a certain way to people because you want people to think that you're perfect or because you just can't muster up the the uh, the courage to go to somebody and say, hey, I'm I'm dealing with this and the third. Can you help me? But if you know the scriptures and you got you know a sincere sister to go to or even your husband to go to, let them know. Let them know what's going on. They got to bear, you know, we have to bear one another burdens. We have to be our, you know, our brothers and our sisters keeper at the end of the day. So if you're going through something, let your husband know. Let a sister know and ask, hey, can you fast with me? Can you pray for me on this matter? Can y'all ask such and such? Can y'all throw up a prayer for me? You know, when you don't do stuff like that, you you just going, you literally just going to fall. You going to fall um, out the truth and you just going to wax worse and worse. And if you ever feel like you you too good to get counsel or you too good to let nobody know what's going on, you're not going to be, you, you you might as well count your days in the truth because you have to literally let people know, like, look, I'm I'm dealing with this down a third. You can, you should never be too prideful to think that you don't, um, you don't need counsel from anybody or you got it all figured out. And you know what I'm saying? We can't be like that in this truth. I want to bring out the scripture. Yes. Okay. And, you know, another thing about that is that we really represent Yahweh Bashimi Shai. We represent the truth. Like, we represent, you know, our heritage and our nationality, everything that was taken away from us. And, you know, when you telling your family, you know, you telling your family, hey, you an Israelite, and, you know, they see you outside smoking a cigarette, they're like, oh, you a joke. You a joke. They see you going off on somebody, they're like, you a joke. When they see you doing things, they automatically going to get on you 10 times harder because, you know, you telling them to get they, they self together and then you, you a hypocrite. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not letting people know what's going on and then you waxing worse than the truth and you making the, the name, you making uh the most high look bad, pretty much, if you understand what I'm saying. We the light of the world. We, we're that example. We're supposed to be that righteous example for the rest of, you know, so-called Black, Hispanics, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And if you want to keep continuing being that righteous example, you have to literally confess your faults one to another, find a counselor and get counseling and work on whatever demons it is that you're dealing with. Um, and it's Matthew 5 and 14, you are the light of the world, a city that's set on a hill that can't be hid. So, you know, people see your light. When you walk in a room, people see your light. People see, dang, something different about her. There's something different about her. But that light can eventually dim out. If you're not keeping the commandments, if you're not confessing your faults, like people know what's going on with you, trying to get counsel, trying to fast on the matter, because you just, you know, don't want to say nothing. Because you might be too embarrassed. So what? We all go through things. It's either you too embarrassed to say something. No, that's not what, what? No. You got to overcome that spirit of being embarrassed and letting people, you got to let people know what's going on. Or you got to overcome that spirit of pride that, you know, I don't want to, no, I already know it. No, no. You got to, you got to overcome that. I want to bring out another scripture. It's Proverbs 28 and uh, 13. He that covereth his sin shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. So if you confess your sins and forsake them, meaning not to do them again, the Most High may have mercy on you. Lord willing, he'll have mercy on you. But you're just not going to prosper. You're not going to gain no wisdom. And you already know one of my favorite scriptures. Wisdom shall be the stability of, of thy times. Like So you need that wisdom to be stable in these last days. You, The Most High going to take away your wisdom. You're not going to gain no more wisdom. You just gonna be stagnant, and you eventually gonna fall out your truth because you're covering your sins, and you need all the wisdom and knowledge and understanding you can get in these last days. But whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy, and we need that mercy. We need that mercy now more than ever. Y'all see things heating up, you know. It's just you. We spiritual. We judging all things. We, we you know. 
looking out, seeing like, you know, prophecies being fulfilled left and right. So you just, you know, we need that mercy. So like, we need that mercy from them, uh, from Yahweh Bashimi Haushai. Cause it's bad out here. You don't want to be caught up in a situation in the, um, in these last days and you know something happened to you because the most high like look i'm not dealing with you you don't you don't want to confess your sins to nobody you think that you perfect you 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 know you don't you don't want nobody praying for you you don't want to fast with nobody the most high not going to deal with you Let me get this one. and this is ecclesiastic six um six and six be at peace with many that nevertheless but have one counselor of a thousand so have that one counselor. Everybody don't got to know your business. Everybody don't got to know your business. Just have that one counselor you can confide in. And somebody that you know is like, look, that's a good sister right there. I can confide in her. You know, she's not going to tell everybody my business. Um, this just be, this is going to be just be between me and her. Um, have that sister around you. Have a sister like that. Have a sister you can go to when you really need somebody to talk to. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's pretty much it, y'all. We, you know, Israel, we really got to do better. It's, it's, um, it's just, it's sad. You know, I saw somebody that was real, real, real mighty in the truth. And unfortunately, like they, they used to always be like, oh, I'm, I'm, um, I'm not worthy of this. And I'm not worthy of that. I'm not, you know, and eventually they just fell out the truth. And it's heartbreaking. It's so sad. It's so sad, and I, I don't ever wish that for any of my sisters. That's why I wanted to do this video, is because, you know, let people know what's going on. When you don't let nobody know what's going on, you, you're going to be in the world looking. You're going to be bugged out, because the most are not going to want to deal with you. Like, this this word, is it's not a game. It's no joke. This is real life. Like, this is real life. This is life or death. Um... So it's unfortunate when people don't want to, you know, confess their faults to nobody. And, you know, you don't want to, you don't, you covering your sins. You're not going to grow in this truth. You need all the knowledge and wisdom and understanding you can get in these last days. And um, that's pretty much it, sisters. That's pretty much it. And if you're struggling, you know, if you're struggling with letting people know what's going on, you just fast on that matter. Fast on that matter. Fast for that matter and confess your faults. Even go at your ask the most high. Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, may you please put the spirit on me to examine myself so I can confess my faults, so I can be found blameless in these last days. Shoot, that's that's something that sisters need to pray for. Cause it's bad. It's just it's sickening. It's so sad. I hate seeing people fall out the truth and you know. We just got to do better, y'all. We got to really confess our faults and let people know what's going on with us. And never be afraid to reach out to sisters and say, hey, hey, can you pray for me today? Can you, can you throw up a prayer for me? You don't, Sometimes you don't even got to say much. You don't even got to let them know what's going on. Hey, y'all, can y'all throw up a prayer for me? That's usually what we do in our sisterhood. You know, if you're going through something, a bad day or something, can y'all please throw up a prayer for me? Just like the other day. And let me tell y'all, just like um, it was on a Sabbath day. I was, you know, this might be TMI, but this video is for sisters, so I would hope it's like no brother watching my, you know, video, because, but anyway, um, I was going through it one Sabbath, I was going through it, um, what happened to me, I forgot what happened to me, I had like three things happen to me all at once, it was like my tooth was hurting, um, I had a toothache and then a migraine, I had a toothache, migraine, cramps, it, you name it, it was happening. It was bad. My uh oh, carpal tunnel from um from just like working stuff and car so I had carpal tunnel in my hand. I could barely pick anything up. Oh, it wasn't the Sabbath. It wasn't the Sabbath. It was Sabbath prep day because I was frustrated because I couldn't work that Sabbath. I mean to prep for the Sabbath. So I had, you know, my to-do list, everything what I wanted to get done. I was in a good spirit. Then it was like I woke up, cooked breakfast. My arm was still hurting. My um, my wrist was hurting. I feel like I couldn't pick anything up. I'm trying to figure out what was I doing. Oh, I was doing my kid's hair. So my uh, my uh, wrist was hurting, and I I I always have I don't know just carpal carpal tunnel. So anyway, my wrist was hurting. I had cramps. Um, I had a toothache. I had a migraine. It was just a real bad Sabbath prep day, and um. 
I immediately, I was like, I gotta, somebody, somebody pray for me, please. So I sent the sisters messages and I was like, please, y'all, can y'all say a prayer for me? I'm going through this, that, and the third. Please throw up a prayer, y'all. Let's just say that I did everything I had to do that Sabbath day. The most I took the pain out of my mouth. He took the pain out of my hand. He took my cramps. Uh, my cramps went away a little bit, but I was feeling good enough to actually physically wash dishes, wash clothes, work, wipe the walls down. I was, I was cleaning up. I was pretty much deep cleaning that Sabbath. And when I was laying down, I was like, dang, I might not be able to do it because I'm going through this. But when I asked my sisters, can y'all pray for me? It was like I was instantly healed, like within minutes later. And that's um, that's a, a prayer of a righteous man availeth much. I'm going to just get to scripture. It's um, James 5 and 16. Confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that ye may be healed. The effectual, effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So yeah, let, let people know. Let people know what's going on with you, even if it's spiritually, physically. Like, look, I'm going through this spiritually today. Can you please have a prayer for me? Look, I'm going through this physically today. Can y'all please have a prayer for me? And instantly, you never know what the most high can do. He can heal you. Like I was like, I literally sent the messages like not even 10 minutes. It, it wasn't even 10 minutes. And I was like, y'all, I feel so much better. And everybody like, Kohalai, how about Shimi, how shy? Like the scriptures, the Most High is not a liar. Everything's written, it's true. Everything's written in the scriptures, is true. So when you're going through something, you you better ask somebody to pray for you. You never know that prayer of that righteous sister is going to help you. So, you know, don't ever be afraid to reach out. You don't, even you can always send me a message on the, um, the, uh, Handmaids of Yahweh Shai page on Instagram. It's handmaids underscore Yahweh underscore Y Yahweh Shai. Send me a message and, you know, say, hey, you know, can you pray for me? Can you, you know, can you and your household throw for prayer for me? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Now, even, even with my family, my brothers, oh, you know, can y'all pray for this sister? Can y'all, you know, my brother be like, what's her name? All right. Everybody, you know, throw up the prayer. All right. So, you know, Lord willing, this video helped y'all. Lord willing, y'all keep enduring. Don't forget to confess your faults because nobody's perfect in this truth. You know, I don't want y'all to ever think I'm perfect. I be going off, you know, I be having my moments, you know. But, you know, I'm just striving for perfection like everybody else. I'm striving for... Hey! hey. I'm striving for perfection like everybody else, you know. So, um, continue to pray for me, Milwaukee, and my household, and... Lord willing, I continue to pray for Israel in need and, you know, just keep enduring and confess your faults so we can get about this captivity. All right, love y'all. Shalom.